Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> if you are new here or you don't know me, I am someone who really, really struggles with heat. My skin, the number one aggressor to my skin, to the way it looks, the way it feels, to my acne, everything is heat. Heat, heat. So when it comes to summertime and the temperature starts getting up, I am someone who tests a lot of new skincare because I am still on the hunt for the perfect routine to help with my oiliness, with my grace, with my acne when it comes to the summertime. I've also dealt with a lot of different kinds of acne in the summer, including fungal acne, bacterial acne, normal acne, cystic acne. I've really gone through it all. Let's give a quick zoom in of the skin right now so you can see what I'm currently working with. I've got some some acne on my neck that's new and of course dealing with my normal forehead acne into my hairline that i get from the summer heat wearing hats being outside etc i have a bit of irritation here but for the most part in the summer it's usually above the brow so as i mentioned since i'm testing so many new things i wanted to talk about four or five products that i have folded into my routine this summer that i have not used before that are completely new to me and a few that are new on the market we have some products to help with overnight sebum production some things to help with bacteria a moisturizer and a few sunscreen picks so if that sounds interesting to you please don't forget to subscribe we talk about skincare makeup mental health we do vlogs we talk a little bit about fashion and I would love to have you join. I am really excited about this first product and I think so many of you will be too. So I've got to thank Hero Cosmetics for sponsoring this portion of the video while we talk about the new Mighty Patch face. That is right. They have made a Mighty Patch for your entire face. <laughs> I was just waiting for this to happen because we went from the pimple patches to the surface patch to the nose patch and I'm thinking somehow they're gonna make one for your entire face and people have been asking and they finally did it. So if you're new to Mighty Patch or Hero Cosmetics, this is sort of their hero product, if you will. It is a hydrocolloid patch that can be used all over the face. Specifically with the Mighty Patch face, it comes with five pieces to help with oil production and sebum overnight. At least I recommend you using it overnight. So as soon as I got this, me and my husband Reed, of course, had to test it because we have very different skin, but also similar in a lot of ways. He has a very large face. We both have oily skin. He tends to deal with acne on his cheeks where I tend to deal with it on my forehead and chin. So we both wanted to test it on the same night and see what the results would be. The recommended way to use the Mighty Patches is actually to start on the nose. We were kind of like excited and did not start with the nose patch, which was our mistake, but you should start with the nose and then work your way out from there. I actually decided not to use the cheek patches because I don't typically deal with acne in those areas and I wanted to save those for another time. So just keep in mind if you're feeling like there's certain areas of your face that are breaking out and others aren't, you can really customize the coverage with this patch. You also wanna make sure to use these on freshly cleansed and dry skin. So either right after you do your skincare, what you can do and what I like to do to prep the skin is to take a wet Q-tip and kind of just go over the areas of your face that have been moisturized to make sure that there's no oil or moisturizer on that area of your face and then put the patch down. It's recommended that you keep these patches on for six to eight hours. So again, it just makes sense for you to do it in your sleep. They are super comfortable to sleep in. I didn't notice them at all. So let's jump to when we actually pulled them off in the morning. My husband wakes up two hours earlier than me. So he went first. I am so excited to see this footage. I'm literally waiting to edit to see this footage. I cannot wait to see what comes up. But for me, I had quite a bit of sebum come off on my nose strip, not as much on my chin, and definitely some on my forehead where I deal with the most acne. If you are someone who just happens to have a lot of whiteheads, I think you're going to absolutely love this product. And if you've just been wanting to customize your hydrocolloid experience and decide when and where you want to use them on your face, this is for you. You can pick these up on the Hero Cosmetics website now. And of course, I do have a coupon code for you for the Mighty Patch face. I will leave it up on the screen now. I also have it in the description box below as well as a link to purchase. So thank you so much, Hero Cosmetics. I always love working with you. And if you guys have questions on the Mighty Patch or the Mighty Patch face, let me know in the comments below. Okay, we're going to kind of go in order of how I would use these products after waking up after I would use the Mighty Patch face. The next thing that I want to talk about that I feel has helped me with my irritation and something I mentioned in my last video was the Tower 28 SOS Serum. So when I'm dealing with acne, the number one thing that I want to try and take care of on my skin is hydrating it and making sure that the bacteria is minimized, especially because when you are out and about in the sun, the oil and grease and sweat and makeup and skincare on your skin starts to settle and it's just a greeting brown for bacteria. So this is a hypochlorite 
hypochlorous acid based serum. If you have heard of the Tower 28 SOS spray, this is essentially the same thing, but it is in a serum based product. So the way that I like to use this is directly on my dry skin after I've washed it and then go in with the rest of my skincare because I want the first thing to touch my skin to be this hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid helps with wound healing. It helps with irritation. And this product is also approved by the National Eczema Association, meaning if you have super sensitive skin, it's not going to irritate it. In fact, it will help it. The difference to me between the serum and the spray is really just how you like to use them in your routine. So I like to use the serum on my actual face in the mornings, whereas the spray I like to use on my neck, my decollete, and my body when I'm dealing with rashes or irritation. But I use this one specifically for the face as it has a nice lightweight hydrating formula that's going to help set in the rest of your skincare. It's very, very lightweight. I would definitely say this is not a moisturizing product. So you want to make sure to follow up with a moisturizer or sunscreen afterwards, which is what we're going to talk about next. I finally got my hands on the Dew Instant Angel Moisturizer and you guys, it was worth every penny. I think that this is a perfect moisturizer for people who have oily or acne prone skin for the summer in the evenings. I am also currently using this moisturizer under my SPF right now because some days I feel like my skin is a little dry. It is gorgeous. This is a very lightweight lotion style texture. I would say it's in between a gel and a cream. It gives just like a natural lotion consistency. It's completely fragrance free and it was created to help restore your skin barrier. This is considered to be a lipid rich moisturizer, meaning a lot of fatty acids to help restore that skin barrier and keep it intact while we are breaking it down out in the heat while we are using exfoliating products or retinols that can break down the barrier. I've been using this for a few weeks now and I've had no irritation with it. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. There's really not much else I can say about it. When you find a good moisturizer that works for you, stick with it. The only thing I don't like about this product is that it is an aluminum tube, meaning when I open it, sometimes a lot squirts out unintentionally, which does bother me, but it is worth it because the product inside is so good. It's really important that you still moisturize your skin in the summer, even if you feel like it's super oily because you want to protect that skin barrier. I know I keep saying that, but it's truly the most important thing when it comes to acne or irritated skin is having a plump, luscious, supple barrier. I love it. I love it. I love it. Also, these two layer very well together. I have had no irritation or pilling with these products. Now let's dive into a few sunscreen picks. I know this is not a new product on the market, but it is new in my routine and so many of you have been like, where the hell have you been? Why aren't you using this? And this is the Elta MD UV Clear Tinted Sunscreen. When I tell you guys what actually pushed me over the edge to try this sunscreen, you're gonna be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I watched a Hailey Bieber get ready with me on TikTok and I was like, oh, I wanna recreate that. And the first thing that she used was an entire pump of the tinted UV daily. Yeah, no, UV Clear. And I was like, okay. I guess, I guess I'm buying it. <laughs> I think the reason I hadn't is because I had so many tinted sunscreens that I wanted to get through, but I know that this one is so good for oily and acne prone skin and we are getting into the summer heat. I think it's literally almost 90 degrees today. And so I just wanted to try it and I love it. Of course I love it. This is a mineral sunscreen and I will say, I don't think this tint is going to work on every single skin tone, but it does happen to match my skin tone very well. It's still very sheer on my skin. It does not provide basically any coverage at all. Just just a slight, slight tint. A tint, no coverage. Its claims are that it calms and protects acne prone skin. It has high purity niacinamide and transparent zinc oxide with UVA and UVB protection of SPF 46. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's lightweight. It's cooling. It sets into the skin so well. It has no scent. It keeps me from feeling super oily, but also moisturizes my skin. It has a lot of product in here, almost two ounces worth. I love it. I'm so sad I didn't try it earlier. I also picked up the UV glow tinted of this sunscreen. I don't know what the difference is yet. We're going to try it out, but I just highly recommend this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It feels beautiful on the skin. It still hydrates the skin, doesn't dry it out and provides a little bit of a tint. The other sunscreen options that I wanted to mention were sunscreen options for reapplication. I have two here. One is a stick and one is a powder. Now I know a lot of people have opinions about SPF powders. If they work, how much you need to apply for them to work. But I do want to offer this option up as it is something that I feel like has helped prevent sunburns for me personally. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Shield 
brush on and it is in the new flavor it's in the new shade which is glow i freaking love this this is my favorite way to apply reapply sunscreen especially when i'm out in direct sunlight to me a powder sunscreen is great for those with oily skin because it offers a little bit of protection while helping get some of the oil out of your skin the best way to use this in my opinion is to use a blotting sheet or something to get rid of that oil first before putting this on because you don't want the brush to get covered in oil and then cause future breakouts the glow version is beautiful they also came out with a bronze version so if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone and you want to try this product out i say go for it this is crazy expensive i'm not gonna lie to you it's over 60 dollars, but it is the best powder sunscreen i have ever tried it looks beautiful on the skin it adds a little bit of a glow it's mostly transparent it's easy to throw in your pocket it's fragrance free i just love it <laughs> Now, if you are more of a sunscreen purist and you're like, nope, I'm not using a powder, I do want to recommend this stick from Shiseido. This is the Synchro Shield Wet Force Heat Force Broad Spectrum SPF 50 for face and body, water resistant up to 80 minutes. This stuff is gorgeous and it works so well. I don't know if it works so well over makeup. Let me, let me backtrack. This works amazing if you are outside and you need to reapply sunscreen to your face without adding an entire other layer of like a goopy sunscreen. This is a clear balm that goes over the skin and I bet it works well over makeup. I just haven't tried it. It is a chemical based sunscreen, whereas the uh, color science is a mineral based sunscreen. It is completely clear and it does not leave a super gooey oily finish. In fact, it kind of feels like a dry oil that goes on top of the skin. If you've ever tried the super goop glow stick oil, that is straight up oil in a stick. This is more of a balm. Okay. So think of that as a balm versus an oil stick that is going to leave you with an immediate glow because because it is actual oil sitting on the skin. This is more of like a lightweight balm that kind of blends into the skin and helps protect your skin. This is an SPF 50. You can use it on your body, but I really like to use it over my nose because that's where I tend to get the most sun. I also like to use it on the top of my forehead and you can use it on your chest as well. Again, this is another expensive option, but it is something that I wanted to offer. Honestly, both of these, because if you are out in the sun all day or you're just feeling the heat, it is important that you reapply your sunscreen in whatever way works best for you. You. Even if that's reapplying your original sunscreen on your face, just find a way to do it, whether that's a spray, a powder, or a stick. If you're reapplying in some way, it's better than none at all. And of course, if you're feeling like your skin is starting to get a lot of acne, you're starting to get a lot of whiteheads, and you're feeling like the oil and sebum is too much, just grab your mighty patch face. Just grab your mighty patch face. Just grab your mighty patch, patch face. I think they recommend using it once a month, two times a month. You don't wanna overdo it and pull all of the oils out of your skin, but she helps, baby, she helps. Again, thank you to Hero for partially sponsoring this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments about any of these products or if you have recommendations for your best summer skin. I am literally always on the hunt for the next best thing when it comes to acne in the summer, so I am all ears. I'm definitely going to be bringing all of these on vacation with me next month, and who knows, I'll probably test a few more things before then, so I'll keep you guys updated and I will see you in the next video really soon. Bye.